Hi golfers, Nick here from Nick Taylor Golf. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at Peyton Manning's golf swing. When you take a look at his driver swing, he starts to flex his left arm a little bit, and that's because he's not turning enough in the back swing. Realistically, Peyton's never gonna watch this video, but the idea is, I'm gonna show you guys what I think he could improve, and it might relate to things that you do in your golf swing. So first thing I would say is that Peyton is probably the better of the two amateur golfers compared to Tom. What do you guys think? I thought he played pretty well, but he did suffer with some contact issues. Um, he did miss hit a few shots off line. Um, and I think he obviously struggles a little bit in his movements of his body. I know he struggled with injuries. So I'm gonna sort of share with you guys what I think he can improve to help him long term. So first of all, let's take a look at the side view. I think he does a lot of good things. The hand path is really good. He takes the hands inwards around his body. There's a lot of good things about that. But he struggles to turn in his backswing, extend in his backswing. I know he suffers from injuries, but I think there's certain things that he could do differently in his swing that would help him free up his body to turn more. So the hand path is pretty good. This this is the top of the backswing here. Club face is a little closed, but I think the biggest thing that stands out is the knee flex. Um, and the, the shortness of his golf swing. I know this is only an iron, but when he did move into the driver, he did start to flex his left arm a little bit to bring the swing around, and that's because of the way he moves his body. But overall, I think he, has, he does a pretty good job. He delivers the club nicely from the inside. Now, we're gonna take a look at the, the swing from the face-on view. So when we take a look at the face-on view, there's certain things there I think it's gonna help him long-term with his injuries, um, help him hit the ball better, and further. This is probably the best angle I could find from face on uh, from the footage of there. A lot of the viewpoints were from down the line, obviously, are watching the, the ball fly on the screen, which is understandable. So let's take a look at this angle. Now, that I think there's a lot of things that Peyton can do at his setup, and there's things that you guys could do at your setup to help you uh, turn more in the goal swing and take stress off the body. The first one would be the feet. If you take a look at uh, the feet at setup here, his feet are very straight whereas mine would be more turned out at this stage, and my knees would be more turned out. So when you set up to the golf ball, if you flare your feet and your knees, already you're opening up your body to turn more and take stress off the joints. If you try and turn your body with your feet dead square to the target, you're gonna put stress on your ankle and your knee. So opening up your feet and your knees really helps you rotate in the golf swing and take stress off the joints. The next thing I would change here would be the position of Peyton's head. I know he struggled with his neck injuries and I'm not sure how much that affects his swing, but it obviously does. In his swing, he keeps his eye line and his hat very level in the backswing. So if you take a look at his hat here, in the backswing, it basically stays level. If you take a look at my swing here, as I swing back, my head is actually tilted and my eye line is slightly tilted to the left. So I know he might struggle with that move in his swing because of his neck, but if he set up to the golf ball and just tilted his head a little bit to the left, a little bit like Jack Nicholas used to do at his setup position, I think that would just open up his body to turn a little bit more. So I would turn his feet out, his knees, and just tilt his head a little bit to the left because I think that would help him rotate in the backswing. Just taking a look at the backswing here. If we take it up to position three where the left arm is parallel. He keeps a lot of knee flex in his right leg there. You can see as he goes back, he's basically locking his right leg. That restricts how much his hips can turn and tilt on the correct angle in the golf swing. So the best golfers would straighten his leg to more degrees to help them turn the hips and as a result, turn their shoulders. As he gets further around, I'd say he doesn't quite extend his body in the backswing, that could be down to his neck, but also I think that's a lot of it is related to his hip movement. If you turn your hips more, it's much easier to rotate your shoulders. So in the backswing, he kind of stays more forward with his chest as opposed to extending in the backswing like some of the longest hitters would do. Now, I don't think Payson struggles with distance. I wouldn't say that's the biggest issue here, but I think long-term, especially injury prevention, I think he's gonna help him if he turns more of his hips in the backswing to turn his shoulders, that's gonna take stress off his body. Also, I think it would help him with his left arm position. He struggles to get the swing round, or his left arm round, and it begins to flex. Now, this is only an iron shot, but when you take a look at his driver swing, he starts to flex his left arm a little bit, and that's because he's not turning enough in the backswing. By turning more, it gives this left arm more freedom, and it will stop it from flexing. I teach a lot of golfers that, that sway or keep forward bend in their backswing, and it causes them to start flexing this arm, which makes it very difficult to hit the golf ball consistently. So the bottom line, I think Peyton has a very good golf swing. I just think there could be things that he could change now, which potentially would increase the length of time he can play golf. I know he struggles with injuries from his football career, but if he 
opened up his knees, opened up his feet, tilted his, his head at setup, I think that would open up his whole body to turn more and take stress off the body. That would also help him hit the ball further and also give him more freedom for this left arm and hopefully that wouldn't start to flex in the backswing. So thanks for watching golfers. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't already, please follow me on our social media platforms. In the meantime guys, if you wanna find out a little bit more about the stack and tilt golf swing, make sure you check out this playlist and I'll see you again next week for another video. Mm -hmm.